Hi, this is Dan from JD Productions, and we're working on our special project here in the corner of our shop. We're putting a flathead V8 in an 8N Ford tractor. Now, this V8 here is a truck motor, so it's something a little different for us, and we want to keep the tractor as short as possible. So this tractor here, we've done some things to really make this tractor be a nice, short, neat tractor when we're done with the hood being able to go back on. Um, so I'll just bring you up to date where we're at. We got the adapter plate in, and we were able to get the uh, V8 to bolt up. The flywheel and the clutch, they were a big challenge. We were able to use the truck clutch and the truck uh, flywheel, and we got it to fit in there. And in order to make it fit in there, we had to do some custom work inside to make clearance. Uh, for it, but we got it in and got it working so we can use a large 10 inch clutch. Uh, also on this V8, we made the radius arms come and just bend back so that they're nice and straight with the tie rods. And then we made a radius here, so we took two arms and cut them in half, and we were able to make two into one. So we cut them apart and made two and made one nice new long one so that they match exactly the same on both sides. Now our steering is all hooked up and it's nice and neat and it doesn't stick way out and look as bulky as the last tractor we were able to work on. So this one's going to be a lot shorter. With the new front end, we're able to put the original radiator bracket back on the front. So we're excited about being able to mount the original radiator right back on the front. So it'll fit our hood real nice. We'll be able to put the original 8 in radiator back under the hood and put the original hood back on. We're going to lower the carburetor a little bit so it has clearance uh, for an air cleaner up on top. The fuel cell going to sit right here and the battery is going to go underneath the fuel cell. So we're going to have the battery and the fuel cell combination right here. Oh, it's going to be great when we're done. 